Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart sign and black and again asking you to hit that share button because the message is more important than the messenger. A quick word on exhaustion. Um, and this one is directed to the ladies. Um, this may not help, it may not go anywhere, but that doesn't mean that this does not need to be talked about. When it comes down to exhaustion, um, and this is largely going to be addressed to whichever ones will listen of any age group. If you were, are still in the phase in which you just got to have that bad dude, the one that other people are afraid of, and that's what you need, understand that you will get exhausted chasing those guys. If they were not being pursued by a bunch of women already, you would still get exhausted chasing after them. Not even due to the competition, you would get exhausted chasing after them because uh, you would also have to compete with the life that they've got to live. Um, that's what would wind up happening. So at the end of the day, um, you will get exhausted. You may think you won't because when you're young, you think you'll be young forever. Or it's easy to think that. But when you are... Uh, when you get older, you get exhausted from it, but you're still going to be sort of addicted to them. You at some point are going to decide that you want something else and you're going to try to settle for it, but you will still have the addiction to what you had before. You will, even if you don't plan to, you will cheat. If you find uh, the man that you decided you're willing to settle for, you will then cheat. You may not know it at the time. You may think you've actually changed. You may think, well, I don't want that anymore. You're going to, if you can find it, settle for a guy that's not like that. And then you're going to, at some point, come across one of the guys that reminds you of who you used to be. And you're going to reminisce and you're going to want to cheat to relive that. Even if your plan is to just cheat, relive a fantasy, go home, never say nothing about it, never do it again. That's not the way it's going to work. You will initially um, settle for the guy that is different from what you had before, what you chased before. You will, and I hate to sound like I know the future, but I do know patterns of history. If you find such a man, um, you will not plan to cheat in most cases. Some of you will do this planning to cheat. You will find such a man if you're lucky and then you'll cheat when you never planned to and you may plan to cheat that one time and never do it again and then you cheat again and then you cheat again and, and again and before you know it you are a cheater who never cheated on these bad dudes but who is cheating now on a guy that doesn't deserve it and is not cheating on you you will then become the worst of women as far as men are concerned the one who does not cheat on cheaters but who cheats on non-cheaters Um, I have to say, if you find that such a man, and here's why I say that, you will be exhausted, of course, and that's when you will decide to settle, out of exhaustion. The man you look to, the second go-around, will also be exhausted. He will be exhausted from trying to find someone without being the guy that every other woman already wanted. He will be exhausted from trying to go the good route, the positive route, the be yourself route, the succeed route, make something of your life route. He may not be exhausted in what he's doing, but he will be exhausted when, specifically when it comes to dealing with you all. He will have been stood up, cheated on, disrespected. And in this day and age, he will have been through all of these things while knowing that he is not uh, alone, but also while knowing that um, that there are other men that were not going through this and knowing the difference between the men who did not have to go through this but rather were putting women through this and the men who had to go through this and they did not put women through this they will understand that now if you're one of those young women this is what you needed to hear if you were one of the older women then, um, and when I say old, I just mean old enough to have been exhausted. You've already felt the exhaustion. You need to know that these men uh, that are currently that same, currently old enough for you, um, 
they may have gone through the same exhaustion. They may not. But they, in most cases, they may not yet be red-pilled because outside the net, a lot of these men are not red-pilled. I will screw this up for you. If I happen to make friends with your husband and then I meet you, you will not know that this is Blackheart standing in front of you. You will meet me with my name. Um, I look nothing like how I sound, apparently. It, will not, it won't register. And if I realize that you were the type that cheated or that you're the type that just, you just ran after bad dudes. You're the type that just ran after the ones that we were told when we were little boys uh, were not what you wanted anyway. Once we find out, once I realize that that's how you are, I'm going to tell your husband. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to damage your marriage. Now, I'm not the type that follows wives around to catch them cheating. I'm, I'm not that type. I wouldn't have that time, especially if I had to live in most English speaking countries of the West. But if I happen to bump into him, let's say on a vacation, befriend him, then I meet you by chance. I, <laughs> I'll have the time. And whether I prove it or not, I'm going to red pill your husband. And I'm going to have him wondering whether you really wanted him to begin with, whether he was really a type. And the evidence will show this is something that if a man asks the question, he'll be able to figure out in many cases. So what I'm telling you is that it's not going to work. Now, if you're one of the younger ones listening, you still have your youth. Then what you need to do is you need to change your mind before you reach exhaustion. If you want to find one of these guys and you don't want me to come along, red pill him and ruin it. You don't want that. Because I'm about to ruin one right now. I think I've recorded this name before on some other videos and then I decided not to do it. I decided not to upload it. Now I'm going to do it. Tim Douglas from Southern Louisiana. If you were still married now to the lady that you married uh, or to the lady that was your wife about 1999. She is one example and I know because she told the mutual friend of ours. Now remember you and I met in high school. But the mutual friend that I dated for a while in college um, told me that your wife at that time, who had a child when she came to you, when y'all met, would not have given you a chance if she did not already have somebody else's child. She told me this in 1998 or 1997. You understand? I should have told you then, but I didn't have red pill knowledge. I didn't understand. There wasn't really the vocabulary to explain the pattern. But if you happen to know, if you're listening to this and you happen to know a Tim Douglas, he is African-American. He either wears glasses or contacts. Um, he's, uh, he's not 5'10". I know his height is not 5'10". It may be 5, anywhere between 5'5 five, five and 5'8". Five, it's been a while since I've seen him. If you know this Tim Douglas and he's still married to that lady, yank his chain and tell him. She, his wife at least at that time if they're still married told our mutual friend that she would not have been with Tim if she did not already have another man's child before the problem is that after she told me this I never could find Tim Douglas to tell him the mutual friend of ours um, later on moved to Atlanta but I didn't see her there and I've been to the old family house um, in her state since then, but they don't live there anymore. Her family moved uh, to Illinois. So I'm letting you know, I will ruin this. And I'm not doing this because I hate that lady. I'm doing this because Tim deserves better. That's it. And he probably has already figured this out and bounced. I hope so. I got to go to my job now. I hope that what I've said is a benefit, and I hope that one day this won't be true anymore. Assalamu alaikum. Black heart, sign of blackout. Black male power.